Super Mario, Super Mario World. Super Mario World, it's a blast from the past. It's Super Mario World, you got to move fast. Mario and Luigi are doing what they can. Yoshi and the princess are giving them. Super Mario World, it's a blast from the past. In Super Mario World, it's a blast! Milking the cash cow until the very last drop is not an uncommon practice in Hollywood. But as returns diminish, so does the quality of the production. And with Mario taking on his third television series on NBC in September of 1991, it's fitting that they go back to the Stone Age in Super Mario World. The new Stone Age background for the show is Dinosaur Land, or Dinosaur World, pending the episode. How everyone gets to Dinosaur Land is a mystery, but in their travels, Mario, Luigi, and Princess Toadstool have left behind Toad and replaced him with Yoshi and caveboy Ugtar. King Koopa and his Kooplings are still around to cause trouble, but there are several other antagonists, including the Dino Riders. Yoshi do good! Welcome, Yoshi Dino Rider! Yoshi, official member in bad standing! <laughs> Yoshi born to ride! Yes, Yoshi joins a biker gang because why not? Other episodes establish that Dinosaur Land doesn't have wheels or TVs, but they obviously have motorcycle gangs. <laughs> Speaking of Yoshi, how depressing is it that the lovable character that was introduced in the classic SNES game turned into a binge-eating baby with an annoying voice? And Ugtar does not help the situation. There are already a lot of immature personalities on the show, and adding two more to interact with the heroes is not what this show needed. Yo! What are you doing in my bag of toys, Kate Creep? Your bag? These my toys, Koopa Dude! Wrong, prehistoric punk! They're mine! Yeah? What, this scale brain? Give it back! That's for bully! Mine now! <laughs> Ooga Bomba! Give a bomb to own kids? Ugh, glad you're not my dad! Stop! You're not supposed to go off till Christmas! Morning! <laughs> If you watch the other series, storylines are more the same. The Koopas put a plan into place, and the Mario Brothers eventually thwart it. And like the other series, nothing is memorable. Thankfully, there are only 13 episodes to trudge through if you really want to bring that pain onto yourself. And I hate that! Free the princess, or Yoshi here will eat your castle piece by piece until we find her. I can build another castle, but you can't build another princess. Without this key, you'll never find her. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, I'll be back. And when I do, that little monster of yours is going on a crash diet. And about the only thing positive I can say about this is that the theme song is really catchy. The Mario Brothers' trip to the Stone Age takes an even further step back in the competent morning show department. NBC and Nintendo knew this show shouldn't have been made, but they did it anyway to milk that cow to the last drop. Coincidentally, the next year, NBC launched a Saturday edition of the Today Show, eliminating morning cartoons from its schedule. This is Must Skip Nostalgia. Good night, Yoshi. Good night, Mamba Luigi. 